Delton is ready as well. And the first pitch fastball at 94 miles an hour is just a little bit upstairs to get things started. The true freshman has burst onto the scene in Tuscaloosa. Another 3-2 cut on and missed, and Carson Hobbs starts the night with a strikeout. And that's got a piece of the elbow guard, so Alabama has their first base runner of the night. As Pinkney drives this the other way. That is in the alley, and it bounces against the base of the wall. Hodo around third will score. Pinkney digging for third. The throw is not in time. An RBI triple for Pinkney, and just like that, the Crimson Tide strike first. Hobbs is 2-2, hit him. The one-two, runner goes, swing and a miss. And that does it for the top of the first for the Crimson Tide. Not the most ideal start to the plate appearance, and he's down on three pitches. A quick start for Luke Holman. One gone here in the Sanford first. Down one and two. And the breaking ball hit him on the front arm. 10 innings, 15 appearances. Paints up on the outside corner to climb. And, just... and he's got Anderson too. Three strikeouts for Luke Holman to start the night. 2-1 offering is hit pretty well into the alley by Jarvis. This ball's back. This ball is gone. Jim Jarvis goes deep. For the first time this year, the Alabama shortstop leaves the yard, and it's 2-0 Crimson Tide. Yeah, that's one of those funny things about baseball right there. If you're 2-1 from Watkins is hit pretty well towards left center. Blake Bortak on the run. He's out of room. This is gone. Guess what? He's done it again. Colby Shelton, his eighth home run already this year, and it's the second Alabama bomb of the inning. Three nothing, Crimson Tide. And he's got it. Got Steele to chase up the ladder. The one-two. Hal tried to keep the hands back. He could not. Five strikeouts for Holman already tonight. Right now, you're gonna have to string together a good at bat to get something going. Staten couldn't hold the hands back either, and for the second straight inning, Luke Holman strikes out the side. 2-1 from Thompson is crushed into right. Just a couple of steps from Rodriguez, because this is way out of here. Drew Williamson leaves the yard emphatically. His sixth home run already this season, the third long ball of the night for the Tide. 4-0 Alabama. Yeah, when talking about home runs, normally uh, a good way to determine how far that ball was hit is to kind of look, see how much the outfielders move. Tamez on the ground through the right side. Two out hit extends the tide third. Thompson on the ground. That's going to skate through the right side for another hit. Tamez will stop at second, but back-to-back -back knocks here from the bottom third of the Crimson Tide lineup card. And he does it. Downstairs, ball four. The base is full. No worries. Thompson strikes him out anyways. Holman deals. Paints the outside half again. Seven punch outs. Holman's one, two. is a big breaking ball for a called strike three. It's coming into the week. Takes a called strike three. Klein down on strikes. The second backwards K on his ledger tonight. Two strikes. And he got him outside part of the plate with the fastball again to the SEC West. Gassetti chops that one. Anderson has that one bounce off his glove. John Anderson, who's made a couple of great plays tonight at third, is going to be tagged. Hits this one pretty well into straightaway center. Bortak going back. He's out of room. It's out of here. Dominic Tamez goes deep for the second time this year, and Alabama continues to play long ball tonight in Birmingham. The Crimson Tide lead by a half dozen.
Yeah, a lot of credit to the Crimson Tide offense. We've talked about just not giving up at bats, going up there, looking for everything. Say, so got a little bit of a four-run lead. Talked about how Coach Bohannon was talking about how they kind of given away bats later in the game. And he's aboard via the free pass once again. Four straight out of the zone. The Crimson Tide have a two-out base runner. From Dominic Ganley. And he hits this a ton deep into left center field. Did he do it again? He did it again. Colby Shelton has another multi-home run game. And the Crimson Tide pouring it on. It's 8-0 Alabama. So that's two guys that are making the game of baseball look very easy. Colby Shelton, I mean, what a start to a college career. 3-2 to Lucas Steele. It is a called strike three. Steele thought it was low. Instead, Holman's got punch out number 11. But he walks Garrett Howe with one out in the bottom of the fifth. Back and in the bottom of the fifth. Got him. Holman goes up the ladder. And even in the fifth inning, 93 miles an hour from the sophomore. The payoff. In the dirt, and Johnson is on with one out here in the sixth. And that's slapped into left. That's going to fall in. Fair is still over to cut it off. Johnson on his way to third will stop right there, and it's a double for the freshman, Max Williams. First pitch to Gassetti, got a piece of his arm. So after Holyfield got the first man he faced in Pinckney, three straights have reached here for Alabama. 3-1, up high, ball four. And West does have an RBI via the free pass. Johnson trots home, it's 9-0 Alabama. And this is crushed into right center. This could clear the bases. That is off the wall. Williams scores, Cassetti scores. West gets a stop sign at third. And it's a two RBI double for Caden Rose. Talked about for Rose, first hit of the night, but saw a couple of walks. He's just one of those guys in the lineup right now that's not giving up at bats, being competitive every time they go up there. Finally got a pitch that he could drive right there from Fryman. Fryman's 2-2. Two -two. Is chopped right side, playable for Steven Klein, who taps the bag and ends the inning. For Caden Dreyer, and he is hit by a pitch. Third base runner of the night for Sanford. Kate Woods, pardon me. Davis hits that to second, and it's off the glove of Portera into shallow right. Rodriguez will go to third, and how will this be scored? Klein takes down and in. That is ball four, and the bases are loaded. And that's in the dirt. It's scooted away. Rodriguez is going to score. West couldn't locate it in time, and Sanford's on the board here in the sixth. Anderson takes ball four. So the base is back loaded up, and that is ball four. So Davis trots home to score. Steele gets credit with an RBI. Sanford's got their second run of the night and in the inning. Hal slaps this into left. Williams can't get there. Plays it on a hop. One run scores. Here comes a second. The throw to the plate is not in time. Klein and Anderson score, and Garrett Hal drives in a pair. Hits this on the ground to third. Swinney on the bag. The throw across gets away. Hal on his way around third. He's going to try to score. Johnson's throw to the plate is not in time. Great slide from Garrett Howe. He scores all the way from first to make it a six-run game. And Bortak takes a called strike three. 96 at the knees from Furtado, and that brings the sixth to a close. Furtado fires again and misses up high. The leadoff man is on. Breaking ball again. Klein fights this into center, and Sanford's got a two-out hit. Man, as good as the stuff was in that plate appearance from Furtado. A fastball on 
He does, but it's downstairs, and Sanford has loaded the bases for the second straight inning. Check swing, doesn't matter right now. The ball gets away, and Davis comes home to score. And that's in the dirt, that skips away too. Klein comes home to score. Or did it hit Steele? It did, off the foot. So Klein will have to head back to third, and Sanford will have the bases loaded again. Cold strike three, Probst with the backdoor slider ends the inning. And Rose, and he takes a called strike three. That one's hit pretty well. Deep right center field to the track, to the wall, and it's off the wall. Portero on his way to second and is in there standing with a one out double. Gaeto's 3-2 is off the plate away, ball four. And he takes a called strike three. Two down here in the ninth. And for zero. And he does. The breaking ball gets Johnson. And the inning comes to a close. This is on the ground to short. Shortstop Eblin over there makes the play. Sanford down to their final out. The 3-2 in the air towards left. Williams ranging over. He's got it. And Alabama's got their 13th straight win to start 2023.